Hey, what's up, everybody? Metal Biker Dude coming at you here. Uh, so I have a PayPal from Andreas. We got three of them, three songs for him. Uh, one that I'm very familiar with, but um, uh, I'm looking forward to doing. And uh, this, is, But this is the first one here, and it's from Lost Society. I don't know who that is. Uh, deliver me. If you're new to this channel, um, basically... Uh, I got stuck in this world where I was only listening to a very specific genre of metal, which was primarily doom metal or, or like a cross between doom and stoner rock, that type of vibe. Um, so I started listening to other genres of music and also just other genres of hard rock or metal. So a lot of these bands that people bring to me, I've never heard of. It might surprise some of you, but I've never heard of them. So, um, but it's a song called Deliver Me, and we are going to check it out right now. As soon as I get my stuff together. I am the messenger of all that is wrong. Already, I can tell you, I love the tone of his guitar. I believe that's an ESP guitar. He's got a Les Paul style guitar, but um, I really, really, this is freaky. Um, I really love, I'm a serious tone chaser, man. Uh, it's an addiction and I, and I got to get control of it because it's starting to get out of control, quite frankly. Um, but uh, I really dig the tone. I got to tell you, the the riff reminds me a little bit of um, a Megadeth kind of thing. Um, even tonally speaking, somewhat similar. Uh, he's got a really good voice, great screaming, um, and overall, a, a ve it's very easy on the ears. It's very easy to listen to as a person that's never heard it, which is important you know that's why i stopped it right away because you know a lot of times especially and a lot of you are probably the same way you know within the first 10 seconds whether you you're digging the vibe or not the tone of it the 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 production of it and, and all of the things that are encompassed in that so Yeah. 
was sick, man. I got to tell you, um, you know, I mean, everybody in the world does the pinch harmonics now, um, but his are very well placed and they're not overdone. Uh, and, and I really appreciate that. The production on this song is really good. I don't know who produced it, but um, the, it's some high level stuff, quite honestly. Uh, so... I, I say that because, and, and, and I don't know this band. I've never seen this band live, so I don't know. But it looks and appears as though it's a three-piece band, okay? It's hard to get the sound that they have live. That's the only thing. Uh, and, and the reason is because you just don't have a rhythm guitar pl player in the background. That's, that's the challenge of a three-piece band. You know, not everybody can do what Rush did. Um, it, it, it's it's very, very difficult without sounding a little bit hollow, a little bit empty. Unless you're Dimebag Daryl. And, and right there... Uh, there's some serious double tracking going on there. And and that's what I'm talking about. Uh, it was plain as day. Not only was it double tracking, they were octave tracking. So they're playing the same riff in a different octave when they're double tracking it, which would be impossible to do without using a backing track live. And you, you lose a lot of respect when you, when you start using backing tracks in a live scenario with, for guitar. Nice sweep. That's what I'm talking about here. The harmonizing the guitars. Okay, and then, so now you can hear the big open chords in the backdrop too. So now you've got at least three guitars being played in this song. A lot of energy, man. Well, that was a really strange ending. I'm not sure if that was purposeful or not. 100% uh, ding ding. That is playlist material right there, my friends. It was a really good song. Um, not complicated, which is welcome by me. So many people these days they're doing the tool thing where they get their chart out and they chart every single note within every measure, depending on the time signature and all of that stuff. You don't have to fill every hole. Not even tool does that. <laughs> you don't have to fill every single spot. Um, and, and, and they didn't. And, and I appreciate that. It's just a nice, hard, heavy hitting song. Uh, there should be more of this type of stuff hitting Spotify and whatnot. Um, really good song, man. A lot of energy. Uh, really solid guitar player. I, I don't know who, what, it is, what his name is, but uh, he, he's got a double whammy. He's got, pardon the pun, uh, he's, got, he's got skills on guitar and he's really good screaming. 
Um, bass player was holding it down really well. Nice double bass from the drummer. I mean, it was everything you want. A, a little overly compressed on the drums, but and the whole tone of it really, but that's okay. Uh, you want to put out a really good uh, piece of music that that's ear candy for people like us. So, uh, right on, man. That was a really good song. Metal Bugger Dude, peace.